Hey guys, welcome back. I'm making a video to kind of go over the basics of using TSM. This is a beginner's guide for just jumping in and using the basic functions of TSM. So what is TSM? TSM stands for Trade Skill Master. It's a free add-on developed for World of Warcraft and includes all the current versions of World of Warcraft, including Shadowlands, Burning Crusade, and WoW Classic. It is a huge multifunction suite of different tools that enhance uh, the auction house, trade, mail, crafting, vendoring, and more. It can be set up to do basic searching for buying the least expensive items, all the way up to automating decisions when posting and buying items. It can really do a lot. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics for using TSM without any setup. And I know people are probably going to come at me in the comments because I'm not showing operations and um, groups, but I'm, I'm just going to show you like how to use it without setting all that up. I'm going to kind of touch on some of the modules in TSM. I'm not going to go into detail for all of those because I would keep you guys here for three hours and nobody wants that. <laughs> This is a beginner's guide. We're mainly going over general use and using the default settings, like I said. If you guys want me to go more into depth with certain modules, please let me know in the comments which ones you would like to see. I do have a group and operation video coming, so stay tuned for that. All right, so there are two downloads available on the Trade Skill Master site. So we're going to want to go to tradeskillmaster.com and install TSM. So for each version of the game, we have TSM4. And you also have a link to download the app helper. TSM4 is the in-game add-on. And the second link is to download the app helper, which is a third-party software that feeds information to you um, in-game from beyond what you can get on your own. So think of it as a crowdsourced information that gives you more data about an item than what you can gather. For this video, you do not need to have app helper installed since we'll be we will not be creating any rules based off the information that it provides. These next sections, I'm going to give you um, kind of a quick and dirty way to use the add-on without doing any of the setup. Um, I will show you some of my settings at the end of this video, but for right now, uh, we're going to just assume that you have downloaded the add-on and we're ready to get started. Okay, so you just installed Trade Skill Master and you're going to the auction house for the first time. You will want to scan the auction house frequently to keep your pricing information up to date. I typically try to scan it at least once a day. There are two different ways you can scan the auction house. The first is by clicking yes on the TSM pop-up that you see right here. Um, this will show when you open the auction house in the game and it has kind of a cooldown built in so you don't need to scan it super often and it's gonna kind of let you know if it's been too recent from your last scan. The second way to scan the auction house is by typing slash TSM scan in the chat bar. Scanning the auction house can take a while, so this is a good time to step away for a few minutes, take care of any out-of-game responsibilities, maybe you have to take out the trash or unload the dishwasher or whatever. It, um, on my server, it usually takes like a few minutes to five minutes. Um, the scan times are going to vary by the time of day that you are scanning and also what server you're on. If you're on a high pop server, it's going to take a little bit longer to scan. Um, I try not to scan during peak play times. It definitely takes a lot longer and sometimes my game will crash. <laughs> now let's get right into using TSM at the auction house. We're primarily going to be working from the browse tab. This page is how we will search for items to buy and sell. If you have an item in your bag that you want to sell, you'll want to search for the item first so you can get up-to-date pricing information. You can either type in the item name in the search bar, or I like to use the default shortcut. You can hold down Alt and hit left click and it will search the item for you. Notice that when we use Alt left click, it populates the search box with the item name slash exact. This means it's going to only search for the exact spelling of the item. If you want to make your search more broad, you can delete the slash exact from the search box. I frequently do this with gems that I'm looking to sell. For example, if we are looking to cut some living rubies, we can search the word living ruby, sort by price, and I'll show you how much the cut gems are compared to the uncut gems. I've linked my video down below on how I make money with jewel crafting. If you're interested in jewel crafting, and making money that way. It's in the description below. So from this screen, you can click on an item and buy it. If you're new to TSM, please pay attention to the way this data is presented. It shows you the price per item, 
over in this column over here, it's not going to show you the total price that you're spending. Um, you want to pay attention to the stack size over in this column. And then in the column right next to the stack size, it's going to tell you how many are available. If you're not careful, you can easily buy way too much of something. I've done this before. Um, but you can check to see how many you bought. Say you're buying like a ton of Adamanti or to a prospect. You can mouse over one of the items and it'll tell you how many you have in your mail. So now that I've showed you how to buy stuff, let's talk about selling. So we have searched for our item. The next thing we want to do is click on a listing that we want to undercut and then click the post button. This will give you a pop-up window that lets you set the duration, stack size, and number of stacks. You can also modify the price in this window, but I generally leave this as the default undercut amount. Now I will say that you can automate this function by creating groups and operations. Let me tell you why I prefer this method for selling specific items. You do not want to undercut the lowest item when you are selling certain things. Many items in the game will sell for more than what the current cheapest price is. So it's just about learning your market and knowing what sells. Here's a good example. I'll occasionally buy a bunch of cheap cloth and turn it into enchanting leveling materials. I never list the materials at the lowest current auction because people are leveling enchanting. They do not want to sit there and buy all of these odd and single stacks to get up to 80 total dust. A lot of people are going to just look for stacks 20 because it's just easier. They're looking to like buy all the materials and they're following along to a guide and it says buy 80 soul dust or whatever. And they're just going to look for those stacks of 20 because it's way easier to buy X number of stacks of 20 than it is to add up all these uneven stacks. So oftentimes for them, the price difference may be under a gold, but when you do this enough, those little bits of silver add up. The other tab that I love looking at in TSM is my auctions. This shows everything that you have listed to sell and also anything that has recently sold but you have not yet received the money for. My favorite part of the screen is that it'll total up my postings and it gives me a rough idea of how much gold I can make off of what's currently listed. Next, I want to show you guys the TSM mail inbox. This has been a lifesaver for me for keeping all my stuff organized. I typically have people in my guild send me a lot of stuff. It's either they need gems cut they're trying to pay me back for something, or maybe they need like something crafted. If I go through and use like an add-on that just opens all the mail, like I don't see that. And then I just have random stuff in my bag that I have no clue where it came from. So you'll notice on the mailbox interface, TSM gives you like a lot of extra buttons near the bottom. You can choose to open all your mail, but I'd never push this button. Most of these buttons are related to the auction house. It has the sold button, which opens up all the mail that has the gold that you got from selling things on the auction house. You can click to take anything that you bought and put it in your bags. Say all that cloth I bought earlier. I, I bought like so much silk cloth. I want to get all that in my bags. You can just click the bought button. Cancelled is any cancelled auctions that you have and expired is any expired auctions. Other is going to be any mail that doesn't have to do with the auction house and it can include items from other players. Um, items that you send, like stuff you send from your alts, or it can include mail that you get from NPCs. And another really cool function that you have in your mail inbox is you have a search bar at the top. So if you know you have something specific in your mail mailbox somewhere, maybe you have like a ton of like stuff that you sent over from a bank alt and you're looking for one specific thing, you can type in that search bar the item that you need to find, and it will only show you the mails that have that item in it. All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys is the main interface. You're going to open this by typing slash TSM in the chat box to open up TSM. The first screen is going to show you a dashboard, and this gives me some like investment stock market vibes. <laughs> It'll show you an overview of your buying and selling activity in game. You can select which of your characters you want to include in the summary, and you can also set the time frame that you wish to review. Let's go over to the ledger. I frequently look back at my ledger to see the history of what I purchased and also help me see what's been selling well. There are four tabs shown here. First is your inventory. This will show all the items that you have across all of your characters on the same server. So if you want to know if you have, let's say, um, adamantite ore on a, on a tune somewhere, you can look through this list or use the search bar at the top to find it. Revenue will show you a list of all your gold received. 
It is further broken down into sales, which is what you sold on the auction house or to a vendor. The other sections show gold sent to you by mail. Usually mine is just gold I move between my characters. Um, and then it has this resale tab, which I don't use a lot, but it will show you if you bought something and then later resold it at a higher or lower price. Expenses is split into purchases, which shows a history of all your items that you bought. And the other tab shows you money that you transferred, postal costs, and your repair bill. So if you're curious on how much your repair bills have been costing you, <laughs> that's all sort. That's all stored in that tab. The last section is a record of your failed auctions, and this is split into auctions that have expired and those that you have canceled. So let's take a look at the general settings of TSM. I'm only going to show you a couple things to get you started, but these really helped me out. Start by typing in TSM in the chat box if you don't already have it open. This will bring up the main interface. I want you to click on settings at the top. So the settings that I like to have go under general settings. Enable prevent closing the H with the escape key. So many times I'm trying to type in my chat box and it wants to type in TSM and if I hit escape it just closes everything. That's not what I want it to do most of the time. So this will prevent that. Next section is tooltip settings. You'll want to enable and embed these tooltips if they're not already enabled. This will show you additional details when you have your mouse over an item. And if you scroll down you can look at all the different options. There's honestly a ton of information available. So just pick and choose what you like to see. And then under mailing, change the amount of bag space to keep free to five. I do this because prospecting gems takes up a lot of bag space. And those are all the settings that I recommend you guys change. Everything else you can change as you learn more about TSM. But honestly, I, I keep most of the stuff at default. All right, that's all I have for you guys. TSM is a super powerful tool. Um, I will go into setting up groups and operations. If you guys are interested in this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.